think the, the big change over the course of the last 15 years is that um, even racist organisations like the British National Party or the, the EDL wouldn't openly have a go at black people anymore. Um, they try and camouflage their racism by having a go at Muslims and saying, you know, we're not against uh, black British people, it's, it's Muslims or against. So if there's been a sea change in that, in that sense, in that um, the most you know, open form of racism that used to happen here, black players being multi chant that and you know that open form of, of uh, racism towards black people I think is, is certainly de um, on the decline thankfully. Um, I work for the South Science Education Authority and I've got a brief for community cohesion and anti-racism uh, within the work that we do and I've always known Cher Race from the Red Car from when I was a teacher as well in, in Newcastle for the work they do with, with the schools and I was delighted that um, Cher Race from the Red Car become a partner uh, to the council and that gives me the, the chance to be able to engage the schools. Um, you know, you know. And um, do, you, do you think that's sort of what we do is um, it, it's effective? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced of it. I mean, I was actually at the, the, the very first time uh, with Shaka Hislop. So, I mean, I know right from there. But when, when, when you see the whole day events particularly and the difference it makes from the time when you first start to the, to the end, especially the, the panel where the children get the, you know, get the chance to talk to the professionals and then, get, then go away with the, with the posters, they get the messages, that's, that's for sure. They get the messages at all ages, I would say, as well. a lot of the children coming up to me already today and we haven't been here that long and they're all kind of like they've all had their eyes opened a little bit to how I kind of guess they hadn't really thought about any of these issues before they'd never really thought about what racism was I know we're just doing over there kind of defining what race is and they've never I don't think they've ever come across that before so I think it's something very new for them and they are learning think most of the views which which come across kind of reflect the families, the, the neighbourhoods, and we do know that you know Gateshead generally is a nice place, but these issues do exist, and to be able to provide that opportunity to sort of un unpick some of the issues, I think you know that's where that's a starting point really um i think it's a great opportunity to come here today they get to learn about their current perceptions of what racism is and perception of black who black people are and where they come from and how wrong they may be and through the use of the workshops they're able to appreciate that they can come from different parts of the world and actually black people are on our own doorstep in our own towns and cities where they come and put it uh, especially at our school in particular um, and the Prudder High School as well there aren't so many um, black people people from um, different parts of the world so it, it'd be a bit, a bit of an eye opener here today so it's a great opportunity and hopefully they can spread it spread the word when we go back to our uh, school whilst they'll have views on, on racism or they'll have experiences. I think it's also in terms of how switched on some of these kids are. Because you know you talk to them and you ask them questions and the kind of questions they're asking but also the kind of the the the, the way in which, you know, the kind of things they're saying, um, what they come out with. And I think it's not just about um, and whilst we appreciate that sometimes racism could be down to sort of ignorance or not having a proper understanding. But it's also, I think, a number of kids now are, are um, switched on. So I think, in a way, what the organisation does is uh, add value to what schools are doing in mm -hmm. terms of, because, uh, you know, it's, that kind of work's also going on in schools. And so, so kids are getting a different perspective rather than a very one way, which may be negative around in terms of the, the, the environment or the neighbourhoods, you know, because schools are actually addressing this. Sure, is in their car really adds value to what kids are doing. In I think it's really highlighted the issue yeah, and brought it home to them, and the fact that they're at a place that many of them love dearly, um, and 
from my own point of view, I've got a class predominantly boys um, that they've really engaged in the activities and definitely getting the message through loud and clear. And it is important, you know, and that's what I try to emphasise to these youngsters here. You know, if you just look around, they're from all different ethnic communities, etc. You know, we've got people from all over here. Mm -hmm. And likewise, the football club's exactly the same. And Newcastle United, and we've stressed to the youngsters here, we wouldn't have a football team here if we didn't have people from other races. And I made the point there, and just the last game we played, actually, well, the last one, the one prior to that, we only had one English player on that football pitch. <laughs> 